Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. Bluey. That episode is called Two Bandits Bluey Bracket Part 3. What up, party people, and <laughs> welcome to a very special episode of Two Bandits. Two of us. Watching Bluey. Um, That's what we do. I'm your good pal, Greg Painter. That's him. I see him right there. He's right there. In the flesh. And, and with me oh. is the bad boy of brackets. Oh, man, it's brackets. His name is... I'm Mike Martin. I don't want to do brackets. We have to do brackets? We're doing we brackets? We gotta do brackets. And my dude, it's it's the <sighs> Two Bandits Bluey Bracket. Okay. Part three. Okay. And brother... Yeah. This one's difficult. Let's do this, dude. We got bangers left and right down here. There's no Blue Mountain. There's no hospital. It's... It's difficult. <laughs> 13... Stupendous episodes. And we've eventually got to say one's the worst and one's the best, because that's what we do, Michael. We have to do that? We that's have what to we say do. That, that we have, so, so we really have to say, that's the bad one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at my list and seeing which one's the bad one, and I love that episode. But you'll find out what that is later, after we get through a little business. Okay. And a thank you oh. to our good friends, not at Wiki Bluey, but Wait, our good what? friends at... The Bandit Dads Facebook group and the Bluey Family Facebook group, which is where we post our polls outside of the regular Twitter spot. Folks, guys, girls, whoever's not getting there, get, get it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for over 300 fan votes Holy for this one. So Christmas. it's not just going to be the beautiful Mike Martin and myself ranking these. Y'all are ranking them along with us. Greg's good at that. That can't wait to get to it. All right. Cool. But let's jump in the agua. Wait, what? But let's not jump in the aqua, because we have a thing we do on these bracket episodes where we've had celebrities like Kurt Broniger, we've had celebrities like Adel Refai, we've had <sighs> members of the Bluey team like Joff Bush. How did they talk to us? Why did they talk come to and us? say their favorite episode? Why are they talking to us? <laughs> but we got the real stars of Two Bandits Watching Bluey who've given their thoughts. Who? Well, those stars' names are Emily and Olivia Painter. Wait! And Finn Martin. Our kiddos... The, the voices young you hear at the start of every episode, including this one. Every episode, they do that, and I love them with all of their hearts for doing that. So thank you guys. Love them every day. But he- let's see what their favorite episode of Bluey Season 1 is. Hey kids, what's your favorite episode? Hi, my name is Olivia. My favorite episode is Sean. What's your favorite thing about Sean? Because... Because when Bingo throws the stick, Sean and Sean catches the stick. You think Sean's really funny? Uh huh. Do you like when he goes Mer! at people? Uh huh. Oh yeah. Do you have anything else to say, my friend? Yes. What else do you have to say? Hi, and I really did. Get that so perfect for everyone to hear. You did do perfect for everyone to hear. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye, everyone. Awesome rock star. My name is Emily, and my favorite episode is Kids. What's your favorite thing about the episode, Kids? It's funny. It is really funny. Uh, What are some of the things you liked about it, specifically? I like how everyone plays along. Like, they don't just call Bluey, Bluey. They say Mrs. Healer. It is. Diddums and Snowdrop. <laughs> Diddums and Snowdrop. Very funny. Do you have anything else you would like to say to everybody out in the Blueyverse? Bye. <laughs> Great job, Em. Ben? Uh? What's your favorite episode of Bluey? Pirates. Why do you like pirates? Does it make you happy? Uh, yeah! What's your favorite character in pirates? Uh, Bluey, Bingo, and... <laughs> yeah! Got anything else to say? Yeah. Man! Awesome, thank you so much, man. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. 
you, children. Holy guac. You guys are way more composed and good at this than we are. So you can't Thank be Thank you on... for taking time out of your day to you, you do... Can't, you can't do... An... No, no, no. They can't do another one. I would be out of a job. The younger generation <laughs> is trying to take over. It's going to be... A, <laughs> it's going to be a bingo, a bluey, and a rusty watching bluey. <laughs> and we're going to be shaking a little can on the street hoping for some dollar bucks. So... But in our reality, Emily Livy, you're awesome. Finn Man, you rock. Finn, you you my dude. And Emmy and Livy. Yes. Get it. Get it. Get it. Now it's time, my friend. I've okay. stalled okay. as much as I could. I preambled. Okay. I spoke. We gotta start ranking some stuff. Okay. And it's gonna start with a toughie. <sighs> and that toughie is episode number twenty seven, Pirates. Okay. Now yes. let me let me kick this off here. And yes, I'll go kick ahead. this off in a way that uh, will kind of kind of show how this probably whole process is going to go. I love pirates. We I get am too, man. So good. We got Missy, who's amazing, brand new character. We've got a fun game they're playing. No it's name, got, it's Norman. Got, nor, no name, Norm. It's got some heart. It's just so enjoyable from the start to finish, and that's why I rank it the eleventh best out of thirteen. I'm so mad at how I rank that because. It it, it 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 I rewatched them today, and like I told you when you came in here, I cried about four times. And in just pirates. dang darn it, Joe Brown! I don't think I cried during pirates. So cool, thanks. Yeah, great. I also uh, pirates. I rank pirates ten. Again, so it's a great episode. It's, you rank it ten. I rank it eleven. The fans. Also rank this eleven a tie for last with zero votes. Over three hundred people polled, and three of these episodes wait what got zero votes. <laughs> starting with pirates. So I, I I love it because of Norman. I love it because of Bad Dad Bandit, where he just he wants to be a good dad bandit. He's, he's just shy. He's just shy. That's all. That's, yeah, it's good. There's no, yep. nothing wrong. Nothing to be say say bad about it. Where to Gumshoe? Keep drunk. Gumshoe no. is twenty eight, and that's a little episode called Grannies. Oh no, I feel bad. This episode I feel bad. Oh I do. Well no, you kick this one off. You 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 kick this off saying, Well, you feel like a bad person. I I am <laughs> not a bad person. I feel bad because watching this episode, I enjoyed it. I slipped on my veins and it's <sighs> funny and it's great. Oh dear. I ranked it really low. How can you rank Granny's low? It we got Rita. I know, and slipping on her beans. We got Janet robbing and, folk, and Finn using nice phrases. parking spot in this thing with I have, I have a oh, bumper I'm, sticker on my car. It says am, "Nice parking spot." Read it. I am very curious. I'm very curious. If you're saying you're, I don't know what we ranked it originally. I think we're giving okay. up that gimmick, but that's okay. Part three: No gimmicks, just discussion. What do you rank? Granny's mic. Oh, you're doing the mic thing. You're taking the the glory of screaming at me. I rank Granny's eight. Wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dude. That is. There were too many episodes shocking. that made me go say. Well, and here's the here's the thing too. You are very you you like the I like the emotional ones too. But I'm the dude whose favorite thing is always the poop joke in an episode. Uh huh. I can't wait to talk about stories in season three and. Probably four years Don't when we can actually even. talk about it. Winton for the win. With the muscles. Son. With the muscles. But I I love the goofy. It doesn't need to be a lesson if it's just dumb fun. Kids love it. Hmm. I love it. That's why I put this one at two. This you put my, it at two? Two? Dose? You, you think two is crazy. Our fans. Oh, they the probably, fans of Bluey. They probably plopped it up. Number, it's number one. Not only number one, oh, but number one with oops. 98. Oh, votes, man. Almost a third of the total vote count for our good friends, the Grannies. That's number one? Number one. By the next closest had 41 votes. So number one by a, a trifficult margin to overcome. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is right. Where are we going? I... We're going. We're going to go. Grannies take, was great. We're going to take a trip down the creek and see what there is to see. In another, so just like I was saying, 
I I rewatched the episodes today, just in succession. I feel like this is a tearjerker for you today. If you, it if you cry got me, episodes. it got me really good. I love Mackenzie. The end. Mac- Mackenzie's like, great. Like, Mackenzie's great from start to finish. It. He is just the bomb diggity, and yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and like I, this episode, like I feel bad because this episode is an episode that we we just talk about the shows that we've already talked about. So when if we sound like we're repeating ourselves, it's because we are. And go listen to the old episodes because yeah, they're probably really good. We uh, maybe give, we give a forty five minutes to the creek about how much we love and how great it is. Jump into that back catalog if you haven't been there. It's a beautiful place to be. But the, the, the I, creek you, is beautiful. The creek the creek is beautiful. It's a beautiful episode. It's just, I, I had some big creek feels this week for uh, Father's Day. Uh, me and the girls and Beth went out to uh, Oswego, SUNY Oswego, where Beth and I both graduated college. Rudy, Rudy. Rudy. And we went to the lake, uh, one of the Great Lakes, Great Lake Ontario. And there was nobody else there but the four oh. of us. And for a little bit of time, me and the girls just walked down the shoreline. They got these big flat rocks. We're just skipping rocks on the water, exploring, making stick forts. And just just What's living our best fort? creek for like a fort made out of sticks. Oh, okay. Cool. There's like big, <laughs> there's big like on the waterfront. There's just big fell trees, and then we just take smaller sticks and put them over the fallen trees and just make like a little like a stick stick tent. I guess would be the better nomenclature. Ah, the old going to be that way. But I like it a lot. This is a great episode. I, I put this one in at number five though. It's it's great, but I couldn't I couldn't find it higher than five. Where did you land this sucker? It said at three for me. It said at three for you? Yeah, I got feels today, so... I, you got feels, but that's okay, because when I told you there was another episode that had 41 votes, that was this. This is the number two Yeah. from the fans. Yeah. And I'm okay with that, man. The Creek... The Creek is beautiful. Yeah. And we didn't even talk. Shout out Joff Bush. The music... Don't even is, Joff Bush me. This is, one of my, <laughs> this is one of my favorite... Like When we go back and play the album... This is one of my favorites off the album. It's the just, Creek is so good, man. So, so good. Oh, stop taking me down this trip, man. I can't. It's a beautiful road to walk on, so let's keep walking down this road to talk about episode 30. Fairies! Where? <laughs> Where's the bad episode, dude? I'm, I'm looking for... Oh, well, they're coming. I think they are coming. I, I do think they are coming. We'll see what happens. Well, maybe, but not here. Oh, talking, talking, man. Great, talking great music, talking fun soundtracks. The fatties. Oh my goodness, that little... <laughs> the Titanic Irish, music. The, the little Irish jig. You can't go wrong. Oh. The imagination, the creativity, the fact that there was, there still was a kind of emotional story. There was, and, 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 I think, I think, I don't remember what, it, we, we watched an episode today, and it was just like, oh, is that... Is that fake? Do fairies exist? Do they? I think they do. In, like believes in fairies. In the bluey verse, I think there are fairies. I'm okay so, with that. I, 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 <laughs> I don't have an answer to it. The Eurovision movie ended with elves being real in Iceland, so why can't fairies be real in Australia? What did you say? What? Oh, you... To both Mike... And to anyone hearing my voice, listen to Eurovision, the story of Fire Saga, on Netflix. Just like listen. Watch it, also. Great movie. Will Ferrell. Super funny. Got me into loving Eurovision, the actual song contest. Plug time over. Any hoozle. Fairies. You look so confused. <laughs> I'm so perplexed. <laughs> How does Michael Martin yes. rank fairies? Oh, fairies. Yes. I put fair. I put fairies at seven. Ooh, at seven! Like They're up. The road. I love this episode because it makes me believe. It it, it totally does. It, it made me so happy. Just you make me that, so happy, buddy. That and and Finn saying, you know, putting shoes on his hands. He does that, and he just. Are you not entertained? And he'll do that, and he throws the shoes off. So that's that's my. Happy. How are you ranking fairies? I put fairies at four. Wow! I, yes! I very much like, again, I like the whimsical. I like the fun. It doesn't need to be that deep. It's It's been a deep time in our worlds lately. 
I'm okay Things with just... Things people! <laughs> I'm just good with chill. And chilly. <laughs> anyway. Get it, chilly. Fairies? Do you, also, have, have you ever said that to Beth? Oh, yeah? Are you kidding me? Okay, just make sure. Often. Uh, get it, Beth. Same. <laughs> get it, chilly. But the fans also putting this at four with 19 votes. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. so this is, uh, this is up there for the fans. One that's not up there for the fans, Uh oh. or me, is our next episode, number no. 31, Work. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's number 13 for me. <laughs> no, gonna... no, look at you, <laughs> jump in the gun. <laughs> I'm just going to say it really. Jump in the gun. <laughs> really quick. And even even that said, it's not about it. We got, we got the dancing froggy. Ribbit. We got dad who just wants to dance. Ribbit. We got mean blue. I, I think I just don't love mean bluey episodes. Ribbit. That might be... You got me. I didn't laugh at the first three rivets, but that fourth one got me. You son of a gun. <laughs> but but I think this kind of brings me back to work. Brings me back to hospital. I don't like Mean Bluey. Yeah, she's she's a bit of a pinger. She's 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 a tough pill to swallow. And there's no bad episodes here. No, there's, there's... only bad Blueys acting a fool yeah. and firing so... a poor working dad who just wants to dance. So Ango, angry Bluey. Well, is... you you slap the sucker at thirteen. I put it at ten, so I don't know why I'm defending it so hard to you. <laughs> and remember, how I said three episodes had zero votes. Uh huh. This is number two of those three. Oofa doofa. Zero votes, dead last as well for work. Now, sorry, work. Not sorry, work. Now I think I have a funny feeling. I know where this one's going to rank for you. Okay. But let's take a deep dive and talk about Bumpy and the wise old wolfhound. Oh, you mean a, uh, another episode that? Joe Brum created and edited and made made a really kind of cool piece of beauty. <laughs> I don't have a way to put it. It's my this, number one. This is I don't have. This is an amazing episode. They do so much right here. I hated watching it today. The, I really did, dude. The story within the story. The I, I, I don't think I caught it originally. The how the the framing pans and changes depending on the point of view of the story. I hate this episode so much. The fact, <laughs> you just said it was your number one. It is my favorite episode. I hate it so much, man. God, <laughs> keep talking. Elaborate. It, well, well, like like you were saying, the the panning of going from her being in the hospital to to they they did the thing zooming that, into that the tablet zooming into the tablet. And it was just like this episode is called Foom and they zoom into the tablet being the episode name and uh, it's not fair. It's and, not, okay, so it's it's you hate it because it's so good. Yeah, it's it yes. your brain. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was getting a little bit confused. No I was getting a little confused. Market number one, I hate it. No, I love it. <laughs> I love it with all my heart. It really is, man. It's so good. It's got again, it's got a great story. It's got the, the bingo feels that hit me hard every single time. Um, I didn't go quite one, like you did, but I put this, this was my number three. This, this cracked the top three for me. Three? You're mad at three? I'm mad at three, yes, sir. I put, I put grannies above this. You know that already. You put grannies above this. Oh, it's man. It's the grannies, though. You are a uh, For your birthday, I'll get you some purple underpants and it'll be okay. I, and, and stri- Stripe not wearing the purple underpants at the end of the episode. Dude, how can you, how can you not? Stripe's gonna stripe. Uh, is gonna and the and the and then the repeats of of Muffin trying to fix things and and Muffin spoiler alert but probably possibly um yeah it, this episode's so good it we can edit that out right yeah. okay cool. you're the, you're the editor <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know if you can. <laughs> That's that, that's that, that's that's muffin muffins great. The break in the vase. Oh, the, the, the can we edit that out? Oh, you were doing a callback. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> you stinker! You got me. Yes, Lear. Ah, uh, that's enough. Well, no, we can't stop talking about Bumpy because we got to say the fans. And please, oh, don't, please don't swear at our fans. They did give a top five. Okay. But now, now Come on, guys! Eight gals? You've got 18 folks. You have 18 kindred spirits out there voting your way. Come on. Top five. But a one, three, five, we might we might be talking about our first finalist. We'll see. That might be enough. Oh, come we on, friends. See. We'll see if episode 33, <sighs> Trampoline, tops it. 
Oh, trampoline. What? I, well, <laughs> here's my favorite thing about trampoline. Is it my past weekend that I, when I went to a wedding? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it's my past month when uh, we bought a trampoline for the girls and we were playing toast and popcorn and juice and all the games and everybody does their trick and watching this episode I was like, ah, this gives me good feels because this is one of the ones that we brought back to our own house and our own lives and oh. then I ranked it 13th. The dead did last you, person. Did you really? <laughs> yes, I did really. Trampoline. I put it at five, actually. Holy Wow, God. really? Yeah, well, I totally then, please, did. Please I, jump in deeper. I, I well it was it was it was just the, the Like I said, the show made me sad today. Watching watching these episodes. The bandit leaving, not leaving, trying to come up to a reason yeah. to stay. Yeah. Yeah. The the kids not wanting him to go. You'll say yeah. Oh, we got great to sing. I want to we did it. Say, stay. It was tough. It was tough seeing them not want him to go. Speaking over my saying, unbelievable. Yeah, well, it, it, I might be harsh with the thirteen, but again, I couldn't find something to rank lower. It's. I just, know. I get that. It's. Uh, it, I, I feel bad. We said it eighteen times. This is probably the best thirteen episode batch. Holy of the what? season. This is I not fair. One. Once season two gets here. All gloves are off. Oh no, that's, I, that's just a, a mess of biscuits all over the place of greatness. But yeah, when I watched it today, I was just like, episode five. This yes, yes, because I could see Bandit struggling to say goodbye to his girls, and it 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 was a gut punch. It was a Mike Tyson just what? So it, it was. It's tough. Our, our fans are closer to you than me. They gave this number seven. Yeah, and the lovely rankers. Um, so they're right Good in vote, the guys. middle of the Gales. pack. So I might, I might have been a little bit harsh on this one, but again, I just... I'm deep breathing right now. <laughs> you better be taking a deep breath, because we're about to go to the dump. Oh, episode 34. Man. And I'm not going to let you talk for a few minutes, because no. I've got a lot of things to say about the dump. Greg can talk about dump. Ready? I, will, I will start off with saying dump is my number one pick. Mike's muted. Of this set of episodes. This is the one that I relate to the most with the trip with the girls, wanting to be a good dad, wanting to be the cool dad, realizing you're not always perfect, but always realizing you've got your kid's best interest in heart, you want to do the right thing for them. I, I said, and if you want the whole spiel, mm -hmm. go back to the archives, but yep. we've done the dump trip a number of times with Harry Monster Attack, and yeah. with Car Rainbows, <laughs> and with Wipers. This one gets me in the feels of both as... As a Greg, as me, as a dad. I'm looking at him. Um, I see him right there. I've lived that episode so many times. And then just, I watched it the other day and I cried again. I just tear up with this one. I just hits me in all of the feels right when they get to the dump and see the pictures. And, and that's <sighs> what we're there to dump. And just Bandit taking that moment that could have been a train wreck. Yeah. And ruining the entire day for them. Yeah. And making it make sense to the kids. Yeah. S this is this is again the episode that made me fall in love. I love you I more. I ranked it at number one, and I feel like I'm gonna get really mad at you when you rank this one. So hey, Mike. Yeah. Where'd you rank this one? Number two. Oh, okay. You uh -huh. redeemed yourself, good sir. I did absolutely, absolutely. I, re I when I rewatched it today, it it I was in pieces. I was I was in pieces. So. That's a great dad episode, man. <laughs> uh, and so close to Father's Day too. This this is. <laughs> In my opinion, this is the Father's Day episode. This one yeah. relates to dads in such a big way. Number two. Bumpy, Bumpy did do it, but yeah. Yeah. Dump is... It did it for me, man. Bump it, is... Again, it's what got me into Bluey. I love it so much. Fans put it at six, uh, which... Come on, oh, fans. come on, fans. Come on, fans. What are you doing? I, granted, I just told you not to yell at our fans after your number one pick, but still. Come on, fans. I think so. <laughs> Unless things get real buck wild, that might be... Wait, uh oh, you never want to say. We'll have to see. Oh, I see. swear, if the dump and Bumpy is not in the huh. the bracket, I'm snapping. Podcast over. No, no. Not really. <laughs> I was about to walk away. So. Would you turn into a wild animal if that happened? I would. Then we'd have to go to the zoo. Boo. Episode thirty-five. <sighs> Snow. Drop. Wait, why did I ring it so high? <laughs> <laughs> It is a good episode, my friend. It actually turns out to be so. It's a fun episode. We've got the snow drop. I think you just learned so much that Bingo wasn't being poorly written 
Bingo was just playing her role really well, and I think that blah moment at the end of the episode when he went through it again. Go to the archives and listen to. I loved it. I loved totally it. Change when he realized a, a dirt, dirty dark secret about the zoo that he was unaware of. I loved it a lot more than I thought I should. I put it at six. Put it I'm at gonna, six. Okay, I'm right. gonna throw it out there really quick. It was it was a really good episode to rewatch. <laughs> It Stop. was the ooh ooh, <laughs> the oh ooh. ooh ooh, and uh, Snowdrop having that nice King Kong relationship. King Kong and the the lady in King Kong. I'm not sure if she has a name. Probably has a name. Probably has a name. Probably probably not in the forties, but in the new ones, probably have a name. Maybe possibly Jack Maybe. Black was in it. Yeah, wasn't he? I don't think he was the woman, the lead female character yeah. though. Pretty sure. How did, how did you rank Zoo? I put I put Zoo at nine. I enjoy okay. Zoo, but again, this is this is difficult, it's my a, friend. It's a a lot of episodes <clears throat> to figure out so it is unfortunately poor zoo came in at number 10 with our good See? fan why did we get so high it just hit me in the fields today what six is right in the kind of high middle of the pack it's, it's again it's not a bad episode there's yeah. no there's no wrong answers unless you say blue mountains was your favorite episode <laughs> speaking of blue mountains let's go on an adventure let's go backpacking backpackers number 36 that's how you ranked it <laughs> release order number 36 well I've been kicking off the last year what are your thoughts on backpackers what are your feels what emotions um, did they bring to life to so your soul it's it's interesting because I don't I don't remember how we do rankings when it comes to it from all one, these episodes and it goes down to 13 that makes sense that's right much like golf the lower number is the higher rank. higher one okay so I, I rank backpackers now um in it I think I think this episode kind of, as much as I love grannies, and I love the things that came from this portion of the season, it found my favorite character. Who would that be? Well, or are we? Oh, let's save that. Let's we're save saving. That. It. We'll save that. Okay. I think, and it's un. It, I don't want to say it's unfortunate, but she she did a really good job. In this oh, she, portion. Oh, spoilers! Yeah, there is spoilers. Okay, cool. But I like Backpackers a lot. I really do. You know, it's an interesting one. It's a different format, a different concept they play with. Yeah. Compared to some of the other episodes, we're, we're following Chili and Banda as the main characters, leading the action along where the kids are just... It's almost like they're at, a, at an improv class, and the kids are the audience throwing the, the wrenches in there. And they're still... It was an occupation. They're reliving... They're past. They are. And it that's what's super, 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 super duper cool. Oh, that's and so like, because so you do that, you, you, I mean, you, Greg Painter, that's me. have gone, you've been to every, all 50 states. I have. With your lovely wife, Beth Painter. And. Love you, Beth. Love you every day. And. So you've done that. And Carrie and I have road tripped. And we go on just long, long road trips where we, we. Drove from Syracuse, New York to as far as we could go to Florida. And it was just like, all right, <sighs> too far. And when we got there, <laughs> I dropped my suitcase and oh, broke oh, 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 oh. If you want to find out what happened when Mike dropped a suitcase, listen to episode 36 of Two Bandits Watching Blue. We got to leave him one more. Why do you have that? We got to leave him one more. <laughs> okay, cool. Anticipation. <laughs> Have you had those BuzzFeed articles? Seeing, seeing. Find out what foods can kill you. <laughs> Read this article. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> seeing what Bandit and Chili just love each other for was really cool. And you see it in the episode. Mike broke a bottle of wine. And it ruined all It was clothes. vodka. <laughs> it was dude vodka. It was, it was vodka that tastes like Mountain Dew. It was really cool. So where do you rank backpackers? Backpackers. Oh, my God. I'm going to put backpackers. <laughs> so you put backpackers at 6.5? Ish. Ish. Yeah. So that was a 7 then in the yeah. year officially. Okay. <laughs> so for so for the fans scoring along at home. Remember remember how I make all those funny jokes about Mike having the 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 um kidnapper I'm, style ransom notes as notes. I mean mugging right now. This is one of those times. Mean mug. So fans scoring along at home. Ferris is actually 8. Green is actually 10. Oh, Pirates man. is actually 11. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's okay, though. I believe in you. I think that you means I don't have to worry about future other episodes, so cool. <laughs> Sweet. 
<laughs> you know what, though? That just makes you closer to the fans because they put this one in an eight. See? What's up, guys? It's okay. It's okay. I, I can't remember if I said my number. I didn't. With all that. No, all, you didn't. All that. Greg! Hubba Baloo! How are you breaking this episode? I will say I like the Childish Gambino song, Backpackers, better than I like the Bluey episode, Backpackers. I put it at 12. Oh, my goodness. You didn't That's like actually that. not fair. I, I do actually like this episode. I just want to do a Childish Gambino. The accents? Shout out. The accents are so good. The accents? Yeah. Oh, the gnomes. Oh, my goodness. The, 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 the. Jeremy, no. Yeah, Wonder they're, all, they're all so good. Oh. Someone's, someone's got to be in the, the Dunny at the end of this episode. It's Whoa. Be this for me. Don't bring Dunny, don't bring Dunny into this. Dunny's going high on mine. Just so everybody well, knows. Let's, let's put, put a pin in that for another bud, year-ish. Bud, that's, Dunny is a, a might go to. I was super pumped when Joe Brum talked about that. So, so, so. do you have, do you have your list in line now? No. Everything's, everything's straight away? Man. No. Recording this podcast with you is such a... The adventure! Ha! <laughs> oh, no, I broke the microphone! <laughs> Your microphone was higher than mine was. For my once. <laughs> Episode 37, The Adventure. Yes. Guest starring Uncle Brent <sighs> Kelly. Boop, boop, according boop, to boop, Olivia. Boop. This was... This was a fun record when we did this. If you Again, back catalog. If you want to hear a third voice in the mix, listen to that one. Because Brent Kelly, of the Spice Level, yes. guest stars. Hey, Brent. This is a good one. This is a fun one. This Hi. is, this is again, like like Bumpy it, and, and like Backpackers. This jumps so far out of the normal mold of an episode. Again, funny, we made this be the first one Brent watches. The least, least, least like an Bluey episode style. of Bluey. Episode of Bluey. It was it was it was terrific because he, he I, I I feel bad for you Brent because it was not a bluey bluey episode. Hey, it worked. It got him in. But well, sucker, somebody that listened to every single episode that we've done so far, and he's like, "This is gonna be the first episode I watch." Well, you, you call it a not bluey bluey episode. This is a great episode. It's really they do fun so well. I wish I was as good as playing games as. Louis and Chloe are Bruh. my even now, <laughs> especially when I was a kid. As two people that play D and D together on a monthly basis, I hit him with another hammer. <laughs> it's so how do they how do, how do they do that? That the costume changes, the terriers. Oh my terriers! It's a basket full of fun. But I I put this. This is my middle of the pack episode. I put this one at number seven. Michael, I, how do you? Feel feels. I think it's number ten. You think it's number ten? Well, you already have one that's ranked number ten, and you also have one that's already ranked number eleven. Where is it? So I think this one. Do you have a nine for the next two? I have it above pirates. You have it above pirates. Do you have it above grannies? No. Okay, so this is a ten, and grannies is a nine. Let's go, baby. We're We're singing it out, baby. This, this feels like one of those game shows where in the late rounds, the points are worth more, so it confuses everybody who's actually going to win. <laughs> who's blue is it anyway? We're, we're throwing this, because not going to lie, that thing that you just did, did just change the overall rankings. Oh, you're so good at Excel spreadsheets. Greg Painter, just so, so everybody good. knows, he's the best human being at, expo- at Excel spreadsheets. You could have just finished that before you said the word Excel, and I would have felt much better about it. He is the best person at Excel. I said before Excel. Oh, I'm just the best person. Oh, <laughs> moving on. He's the best person. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm done. All right, cool. It's got to be done. Bye. You put this at 10. Fans, fans put this one at 11. This was the third one with no votes, which this one surprised me. I'm very surprised that we got votes out of Zoo and Backpackers. Not that they're not this. episodes, but not Adventure. Not a Chloe hate online. Although, don't, granted, don't one, wait, Chloe? Granted, one, amazing. Granted, granted, one of the groups I put it in was the Bandit group, and this is one of the only episodes without a Bandit in it, so... Don't hate Chloe. Chloe's amazing. Chloe's amazing. Chloe's amazing. We're getting into it. We're getting to the last two. The so next episode on our list, number 38, Copycat. <sighs> Heavy pill to swallow. Yeah. Hard pill to swallow. This is, this is an all-the-feels episode. This one, I mean... It, 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 it talks about some of the hardest topics to talk about with kids, to talk about as adults, to talk about, to even think about in life. It stinks. It's, <laughs> this is, I think I said it when we first put this episode out, this is one of the first times Bluey gets 
real heavy on us. It really. And is we, this the first time that you like uh, that you have to swallow that pill on Bluey? I think so. It's definitely the first time they talk about death on the show. And it's probably one of the because we we've got we've got early baby coming up. We've got I, I we've got some pretty emotional ones in season yeah. three. We've got a ton of emotion in season two. We've got baby. We've got a lot of this one's for the parents episodes. And I think this is the first this one. The kids will snicker at the copycatting, but this one's for the parents, dudes. That's not fair. Why you gotta Why you gotta put a show out like that? Like it's it it. It just it kicks the parents right in the nards. So whoa, <laughs> in the best in the same way that you hate Bumpy, you feel kicked in the nards by copycats. So I'm gonna assume that means good things. Yes, yes. It's 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 so well done. That's all. It's just it it's funny because I think there's a halfway point in this episode where where it's just like Think oh we're being funny. And they're like, ah, and there's that budgie. Here's the budgie. So and then we get a little bit more funny, but it's processing. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a again, it's a tough pill to swallow. It's a beautiful episode. There's a lot of great episodes though, and this one, when I was making my ranks, I might have been a little harsh on this one. I put this eight. I put it five. You put it five. I did. Yes. Sounds like a safe place for it. Yeah. It because there's there's too much, like. It, it stinks because I put sleepover higher <laughs> than copycat, but sleepover is is almost like a. Well, don't don't feel bad because we're we're not we're not a sleepover yet. Yeah. Oh, don't that's no the next book. Oh no, because we got to say that our fans also put this one at the the coveted eight position. Oh, and you might I notice you might notice scales. people out. I just want to throw this out there. Yeah. Hey, Greg, you're picking on Mike for numbering things wrong, but you just said there's two that were ranked eight. That's because they both had two votes and they tied, so they were in the same spot. Mike, uh, I knew you were about to say Greg. something because you're paying a really close attention to my words and sayings. Of course I am. Of course I am. No, it, this this episode this episode hit at a really bad time in my life and the end. So that's how that worked out yeah. for me. So and Greg was. One of my best friends to be there for me Love in that time frame. So Love you most. And I'm not just copying. <laughs> Sleepover! Let's yeah! Bring, let's bring this home with some fun. Let's bring this home with a happy episode. Let's bring this home with some chaos. The chaos demigod known as Muffin. Known as Sheila. I need more Muffin in my life by... The end. <laughs> I, I need more muffin in somebody else's life that I could watch from a distance. Not necessarily in my like life. Next door neighbor. Like, but uh, <laughs> boy, howdy! Just fun. Just it's pure the fun, best, dude. Silly, goofy episode. So many iconic. We got we got the flamingo queen. I am the flamingo queen. We got babe. Ah, uh, just fedora. Husband Blue. Bingo, Husband Bingo, the best. Bingo, thank you. She's she's uh, just the sweetheart I want in my life. The 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 the, the mustache that cannot be taken off. The <laughs> make, make, make me jealous. I might have to grow a mustache myself just so I can See? be as cool as Bingo. What uh, makes me sad? I've is got the fedora already rocking. I could I could have a mustache, but I I don't feel like. I, I don't think I remember the last time I saw you shave. I didn't know who you were as a human, <laughs> and I literally <laughs> looked at you. And you said hi, and I gave you a weird look like, who's this stranger talking to me, and walked away from you. So, I don't have object permanence of Mike without a beard. You probably shouldn't do that. That could kill the podcast. Okay, I won't do that. Don't worry. Any a sleepover, great, fun, and just pure great, Constable Chili. Constable Chili. Poor it's Chip officer Salesman Chili. Dad. Was it Constable Chili? Uh, Constable sounds more fun than an officer, but you somebody know. said on Twitter, Twitter, Constable Chili. See, I listen to the Twitter. I listen to the fan. I'm sorry if you don't listen to the fans. I listen to the fan. Don't you dare! What do you rank this one, buddy? Um, I have copy. Are we doing copycat? Five. <laughs> We're doing sleepover, my dude. Okay, cool. Sleepover. You're so sleepy. You can't I'm remember. I'm so sleepy. Four, actually. Yes. 
exciting. I put this one. I put it high. It was it, it was a good vibe that I needed in my life. So I, I feel bad for ranking it at only sixth, but six feels pretty strong with some of yeah. the contenders in here. Again, it's, I I have no ill feels or bad feels. It was it was this shouted was out. Just a good episode. The on our Twitter, the the Talking Smack podcast. Shouted out us saying, like, this is just a fun episode, and I completely agree with them, where it's just, it's an episode that you just, uh, yeah, I, like, it's not, it, it's not sleepy time. You're not feeling the feels. It's at, at Talking Smack, without a K. Got Twitter. It. Thank you, friends. We appreciate you. Hey, friends. It was just an uh, ability just to just be like, okay, uh. It's just pure fun, and our fans agree. Third place, this gets the bronze fan vote at 29 total votes. Third place from the fans. 29? 29. So we are there. We have Holy ranked Christmas. Ranked and fully reviewed Thanksgiving. Oh. Flag Day. 13 episodes. Memorial Day. What are you? What? I'm yelling out just holidays <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to run the calculations. Yes. Again, third of Mike's vote, third of my vote, third of the fan vote. But this calculation machine takes a few minutes to update and work. So while we're waiting, hey, Mike. Yeah? Oh, no. Wait, hang on. What was your favorite thing Oh Lord. about the last 13 episodes we've discussed of Bluey? Um, I want to do... I can edit that out, right? But I really don't think I can. So, I say it's sleepover and Bingo having her fedora and her mustache. The bite Bingo. I I can't not, dude. It's not. Like, it's the last episode. I cannot fight you on that. I cannot fight you on that. That That is an excellent favorite thing. Her showing up and just sure thing, bye. It's chef's kiss. I can't not, so... That's where I'm going. Hey, Greg. Yo. What was your favorite thing of the last 13 episodes? My my favorite oh, my favorite thing is going to go to another bingo moment. Yeah. But this is going to be Granny Bingo. That slipped on the bangs. Oh, the bangs. <laughs> it's just so dumb in a great way. And just silly laughter. It got bingo. me when I watched it today. Bingo is my favorite in the world all time. Yeah. Hands down, everybody knows. Yeah. That was my favorite thing. Yeah. In this last 13 episodes. Hey, Greg. Yeah. I need to ask you then. Holy cow. Can I do that? Is that available? Is that possible? What, who was your favorite character of the past 13 episodes of Bluey? <laughs> is that possible? I'm going to give this to a little bit of a wild card. Because she was in a surprising large number of these episodes. And oh, had no. some iconic moments. I'm giving this oh, to no. Miss Muffin. Don't do that to me! Muffin, Dude! Muffin, okay, sure. No, no, bumpy. Sure. Mu- uh, sure. Really? Sure. One really? Percent. I thought I was going on enough of a limb no. to not have a tie again. 1,000%. We've got, we've got Bumpy Muffin. We've got Sleepover Muffin. We've yes, got Lear. Backpacker Muffin. Just those three right there are just Go. rock star performances. Go. I mean, give it to Bingo, too. Because why not? But no! Muffin. Muffin. Double muffin. Du- Never go double muffin, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> muffin. Now, I'd ask you how you rank these episodes, but guess what? What? Wait, what? This wild computer program just finished, and it's going to tell us how we ranked these episodes. Are... I don't have to rank it. You ready? Triple H mode. Number 13. <laughs> okay. Dead last. Worst episode ever to happen of this great... Work. Work? Work? Correct. Woo! Number twelve, we have pirates. Oh, that stinks, man. Pirates is good. Number thir- or number eleven, we have adventure. Oh. Ten backpackers. No. Oh. I know these are all. <laughs> <laughs> number nine is the zoo. Uh, at eight. Yeah. We have trampoline. Okay. At seven. Huh. Just keep going. Suspense. The master of suspense. We have copycat. Oh. At six, yep. we have fairies. Man, really? <laughs> like, fairies does not make the cut in a shocking development. I don't like this. <laughs> At number five, you're, uh, you're going to not like it anymore after this. Number five, 
just missing the brackets is sleepover by point three 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 repeating that's fine points that's fine it's so it's, that means it's a happy episode just just watch it sometimes friend that means uh, the top four number four, four. advancing grannies oh, of course it would grannies yeah. get it done you punk with number nine on grannies yes psycho that's okay. We still love you, don't we, fans? Number three. Maybe, possibly. I hope so. Number three, the creek. The creek is good spit, man. It is. And then, in an unprecedented event, which means we're gonna have to play rock paper scissors right now for the bracket bracket rankings. Yes. Tied at the dump. number one. And bumpy the dump. And bumpy and the wise. Old Wolfhound. Ooh. So right now, one, two, three, show. You're representing Bumpy. I'm representing the dump for who is work. Who is first? Not best out of three. One time, one, two, three, show. One, Say it one out time. loud. Say it out loud so the fans can hear it. Yep. One, two, three, scissors. One, two, three, pepper. No! Bumpy. Bumpy. Based on the most scientific processes. Known yeah! and available to man wins part three <laughs> of the two bandits watching Bluey bracket. So that means Thank in you, about Angels. I appreciate you. In about You're amazing. two and a half months, Spooches. these uh, episodes will move on to the finals. The finals. They will move on. Yeah! <laughs> they will move on to eventually. <laughs> Once again, face each other. Each other. But also face. But also face. Representing the first part. Ooh. Barbecue, bikes, shadow and keep yuppie. <laughs> oh, no. And from part two, <laughs> takeaway, calypso, markets, and the claw. Oh, my So, Lance Bumpy, up. the Dump, Creek, and Grannies, welcome to the party. Welcome um. To the party. I'm exhausted. This is <laughs> my dude. This has been a blast. This is one of my favorite ones that we record. Holy God. I, I don't. <laughs> we're going to have to find a more scientific way to do a tiebreaker if this happens in the finals. Oh. When it's us talking to each other. Do you have a coin? We can flip it. Oh, that's much more scientific. <laughs> before we go, before we go, we're not us if we don't have a handful of plugs. P L U G S plugs. Obviously, at Watching Bluey on Twitter. Follow us. Love us. Oh, I feel silly. Do. I feel you don't silly. have to, I but you can. I feel silly last week saying we're almost at 600 help us. By the time we posted, we were like 615. So Why are you guys following us? Because we're great and we're lovable and the Bluey community is You're the best great, community great. in the whole ding dang world. At Watching Bluey Pod us. on Twitter. We're, we're close. Twitter! Make, make this happen again. I'm going to say we're in the mid-90s right now. Get us over 100 by the next recording. I'd you appreciate won't. that. Don't nag our fans. <laughs> Watching Bluey at Gmail. Send us your takes. We love when it happens. We've had a couple people send in just the last couple weeks, which is really? awesome. Yeah, we had uh, You're Raj good at that, dude. I'm the- we had uh, Jordan. Oh. What up, crew? That, that's so awesome. You don't you don't have to do that. Keep, keep but on honestly, we love it. We love hearing the more you it. send us, the happier we are. Seriously, exactly. like send us send us so much stuff, and it's it's us smiling. So. Know, what, know what else makes us happy? When you rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts. No new ones yet this week, but again, we'll shout you out, and I will channel my inner JPC from Hey Riddle Riddle. Whatever you write, I will read on air. Whatever those words are, as long as there aren't swears in them. I will read your you words that you write I've in gotten this a lot better podcast at not swearing. and give you a shout out. So just so you know, I've gotten a lot better at not swearing. And I, th- I don't know if it's Bandit's fault, but I say, oh, spit, and and also, like, oh, biscuits. I don't so I don't curse around my kid anymore. It's, I'm really so proud. kind of proud of myself. Patreon! Oh, man! Head on over bit.ly backslash 2BWB. Pat, we just dropped an episode oh. Talking about our favorite video games. That's us. And still. if you don't want to hear that, I don't know what you want to hear. Yeah, I mean, I would one, listen to it for two One bucks. final shout out, and we probably should have been plugging them from a little bit for now, but Musonification, at Musonification on Twitter. Yes. That is the program that the beautiful Michael Martin used to help freshen up it our, was, our whatchamajigger, freshen was, up our theme song. There we go. A I, couple weeks back. So, Mike... 
Talk about your friends' musonification. Yes, for a they they did the transcription for the Bluey theme song, so they were the ones that were able to help me out in creating the piano version of our theme song. And then what I did was I took that and used it to make my ukulele version of the theme song and added their transcription into what is now the Two Bandits Watching Bluey theme song. So how thank you guys. Did gals. how many how many crescendos did you add? Um when you I would say from a scale of one to you don't wanna see my Reaper um <laughs> page when I created it. But it, it it was a a lot of crescendos. A so lot of crescendos. thank thank times ten thousand for creating that because it let me create the music that you guys guys and gals hear. And if you if you want to create your own music and kind of take some stuff that's pretty awesome and make it your own at Musonification, we follow them so you can take a look at our followers or just write in all those words. That's a pretty easy thing to do too. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you, fans. Thank you, friends. Thank you, family. I feel like the Bluey Verse is turning into more of a family every day. We Very much so. We appreciate all your love, all your kindness, all your support. Did all we just your do that? Everything. Did we just do that? We just did it. Know why? The brackets are done. They cut. Know why? No why? Because they gotta be done. <laughs> it's gotta be done. <laughs>